Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, John, from John's Reptile Page. Guys, we're making a video today with winter. Guys, things to look for when having a baby crested geckos. Signs, are they eating? Are they drinking water? You know, basically, how they're doing. Because, you know, when crested geckos are small, they don't really eat like that. So some of the things that can actually help you to know are they eating. When you put the food down, sometimes like they don't really go right away to eat, like, you know, like a bearded dragon. So what I do is I take like a little spoon, plastic baby spoon, and I put the food on the spoon and I, I put it like in the corner of the tank. So what I do is I, the next day, I check to see if, you know, if she or he has eaten. Another thing are droppings. Like, you know, when they go to the bathroom, look for poop, those are great indications that they're actually eating food. Another thing, you know, always miss the tank. Like I did here, I put, you know, enough water on a plastic container, um, you know, wet the substrate enough that it'll build up humidity. And I also like to wet the artificial plants. This way, since, you know, bearded dragons, they like to climb. So what I do is I make sure I wet all four sides of the baby plastic terrarium here. So as the crested gecko goes climbing, he can, or she, can drink water, you know, cause they like to lick the glass and, you know, the substrate, I mean, the artificial plants, you know. And, you know, those are the basic things you can look for to make sure that they're eating. Check the, the spoon, in case you give them like a little spoon or a little like cap, you know, to see if you see like lickings on the food. Look for the droppings. You know, if there's poop on the substrate or even on the plastic plants, or you might even see some droppings on, on your terrarium or plastic container, what I have here. Um, you know, make sure you keep the humidity nice for them because, you know, be the drag, um, excuse me, crested geckos, they like the humidity. And also, if you like, take like a um, cap. Fill that up with water and you can leave it on the corner and they eventually will start drinking water. You know, because like I said, they don't eat every day. They eat like every, uh, you know, every other day, you know. Yeah, so you know, make sure that, you know, they have these things that they need. Water, you know, substrate, nice and wet, cause that brings up the humidity in the tank. Make sure they have food, you know. And you know, you might even <clears throat> have to pamper your crested gecko like I do, have to hand feed sometimes to make sure that they're eating. You know, you visually want to see it for yourself. So you can see, like I wet my tank earlier already. It's nice for them. So what I do is I like to look for the crested gecko. Winter was out here earlier as I was wetting the terrarium. There he goes, you see? <laughs> Winter is crazy. Winter is still a little, little baby. Only a couple of months. Yeah, I don't bother Winter too much. I just make sure Winter eats. Winter got the things that he or she needs to survive as a baby. So guys, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for me, guys. If you love crested geckos, I'm out of here. Check this out. When winter gets bigger, I'm gonna put a put him or her in a terrarium. But for right now, winter's still a little, so winter's gonna be in this little container for a little bit. All right, guys. Like I said, I'm out of here. Later.